I was going through two to three half gallons of vodka a week, easily. And I was just hiding it. And I had a structure where I'd start drinking during the day. And by the afternoon, I had to cut off so I could sober up before my wife came home. I think I was chasing a dream that didn't exist. I was chasing items and a lifestyle that fit in with the neighbors, what I wanted people to have uh, when they looked at me, and I wasn't getting it. Looking back now, looking back at where I had been, it got to the point where I lost everything. I was born in Oklahoma City and raised in a small town called Danville, Arkansas. But growing up, we had moved around um, wherever there was a job was for my parents. They were migrant uh, folks that came over after the Vietnam War. Uh, they were traditionally Buddhist. Um, Christianity wasn't something we, we followed at all. But they always talked about a God. And it was confusing growing up in a world where Buddhism was practiced and there was traditions and beliefs. So as I got older, I didn't want any part of any of it just because it didn't make sense to me. And growing up through college and high school, I was what they would define as a wild child, very rebellious. As I got older, I didn't have any real direction, but I learned something very powerful when I was young that if I outworked everybody, good things would happen. And it moved me up the corporate ladder pretty good. I had a family of three, had a big house, had cars, and living very comfortably. Five years later of that life and that lifestyle, everything fell apart, everything. I got to the point where I was drinking all day, every day. I was 230 pounds. I was agnostic happily. I got fired from my job. I was homeless and I gave up. The alcohol just replaced everything. I went to a friend's house and I stayed with him and I had my last party. He ended up asking me a couple days later, he's like, what are you doing? And I said, I don't know. I told him I just, I need to get away from it. He called my wife and they scheduled for me to go to rehab. So to begin with triathlon, um, I had done it a lot when I was younger. When I was in rehab, I decided that, you know what, I'm gonna start again. I knew that was gonna be my replacement for getting drunk. Getting drunk produces these endorphins and gives me this high and I just get this rush. And so I started using triathlon to replace that, that craving, that high. It was something to replace the addiction and it fulfilled that desire for me to get endorphins, but it was still empty. It didn't, you know, it made sense to go work out to get in shape, but what was I really doing it for? I got out of the rehabilitation clinic and that summer, we visited New Life for the first time. I was like, okay, it's kind of enjoyable, but I'm fake, I'm not supposed to be here. A couple of weeks later, we keep coming back. Fast forward, I get invited to something called Men's Ministry. And I thought, well, there's some good people here and maybe, maybe they're not fake. And I started getting ingrained with them and started learning more about what it is to have a servant heart. But I still had that emptiness. And I was like, you know what? I'm trying this lifestyle you know, trying to get a new job, a new career path. I'm investing all this time back into getting healthy and doing triathlons and endurance events. I said, what if I hit that spiritual part of it and try to go all in on that? And I had that prayer in my car driving home one day and I said, you know what, God, I believe in you. If you want to be there for me, like you say you will, I'll accept you right now. And ever since that day, nothing's been the same gave it up. It's like everything that was holding me back just like went off. It was the immediate feeling like, okay, shed all, all this shame, shed all this doubt. And that was the moment where I became a new person. Accepting God has had put a, a focus on not caring about me. And that was the aha moment and it has helped my marriage tremendously. Our family is not very strong, but we are growing together in Christ. We now talk about God, we pray openly. It's now become a foundation, so much so that my, my kids are asking questions about it. 
Our whole family has been saved as of this summer, and that's a, us, that's huge. On a scale of one to 10 of the importance of new life to my life, is, it's probably a 10. But more importantly, it's really high for my family. New Life provides that place where we can be a family and a unit and then also building a foundation for our, for our future. My name is Adam Sesuda and I am becoming fully devoted.